There's HW. Why me? Why was that spirit when others died? I'll never really answer that again. Take that cup, leave the tunnel man. There's Ronnie Reagan. There's Jimmy Carter. Gerald Ford. I returned understanding we can never be isolated again. Richard Nixon. Yeah, I forgot that he served. And Lyndon B. Johnson. He wanted his own eyes and ears in the field. I was a Navy officer picked to go. July 1st, President Roosevelt ordered all congressmen of the armed forces to return their legislative duties. So he was a congressman? Yeah. Went ahead and went out to go ahead and go fight and they were like, no, get back over here. All right. And JFK. Japanese destroyer sliced his boat in half and plunged him in the PT-109. Then there's Ike. There, Harry Truman. And and Nimitz. Yeah. His death came on the eve of complete military victory in Europe and with months of it rose. Yeah. Yeah, I remember they were talking about uh seventy five millimeter field gun. The work for giants to serve well the guns. When you absolutely positively just have to blow every motherfucker away. <laughs> Four rounds per minute. Fourteen miles. Oh jeez. This was, with, this was with the British. Gun had a caliber of 87 millimeters, was named for the weight of its 25 pound shell. Rate of fire, 68 rounds. A supercharger, you can go six and a half, seven and a half. No, oh, that's pleasant. And there's the 105 millimeter howitzer. Unless I'm, well, it's an M2A1. I said we're we're using the, still using the newer versions of these. Oh, I know what that is. That's a, that's a big Bofors cannon. They call it Tom Tom. Yeah, uh, Pom Pom. Yeah, they have these big, huge four-round clips. They had to go ahead and load into there by yeah, hand. 32 planes in 30 minutes. It hadn't even been test so fired. So new they yet. had not yet been test fired. <laughs> Navy appears to have appreciated the new weapons, actually telegraphing Chrysler Corporation with the gun serial numbers when they shot down enemy planes. So they were built and licensed by Chrysler. 
That maximum attainable was 23 anyway, the practical was 12 and a half. Let's see, I wonder if they've still got these things operational, if they've already got, or if they've locked them all down. Everything is yeah, they've locked them down. Yeah, the ones over there on the um, on the Texas, you can go ahead and let's see, you can go ahead and let's see, you can go ahead and run them, you know, back and forth. Let's see, elevate them, move them, move them up and down and left and right. Oh no! Somebody dropped an egg in the flight. Yep. Don't look down the barrel of a gun, ding dong. Well, if that went off, there would be no worries. Let's see, but look at all the. Hydraulic systems, everything else that had to run all that. Is that where the shells well, spit out? Uh, no, uh, your shells. That's a, I said that's actually your uh, your motor that ran everything. That's where your exhaust went. Your shells on this oh, one. This, this goes down and out. Uh huh. Hey, your shells on this one. They would come out of here and down there. Uh, yeah, because you'd feed them from up top. Like I said, they would get spit out the back end of this. And uh, your your gunnery officer, not this one, this one, your your right hand pedal Ooh, was what? Oh, Oops. I don't know why that got decommissioned. Yeah, the whole barrel is bulged. They were firing at rapid rate, probably. Yeah, a little bit. Well, anyway, the, uh, that's, your, that's your trigger. Maybe wonder if that's a shrapnel or something. You know, that's your, press that to fire. And you would have, a, like I said, one, uh, one guy, your, like I said, your main fire control officer, he would raise it up and down, and your other guy over there would take it left and right. And you'd uh, aim, well, these line are it twins, up with those. So this guy's firing and this guy's firing. No, your I said your fire control officer. He's controlling elevation, and you're firing. You're busy. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see here. Praise the Lord and pass the ammunition. <laughs> And I said they had those set up in quad mounts too. Yeah. Torpedoes. Looks like it got a hole shot in it. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Torpedo yep. tubes. Yep. Probably came off of Destroyer. Destroyer, yeah. Mark 15 quintuple torpedo tube. USS Foot. Yeah, Fletcher class destroyer. Well, the round housing of the tube is a blast shield, protects the person from the blast of adjacent guns. World War II. Trainable tubes. Mounted top side of the ship center line. I uh, said so, so you could rotate this whole thing all the way left or all the way right. Be able to fire it left or right. Hmm. So expel the it was. was Clear the firing ship with such velocity and direction that would mount its firing course till its engine develops enough power for self propulsion. As expulsion starts, trigger the torpedo so it starts engine and gyro. Those sections of three destroyers each. Say so they would just bloop. Send them out. Five inch. Yep. That's your uh, that's your medium sized gun. Mark 21 open pedestal mount. That's what they use on merchant ships. So. 38 of the, refers to the barrel length in terms of the bore, 5 inches times 38, which equals 190 inches or 15 feet. Horizontal range with 55 pound projectile is 10 miles. And the end aircraft roll had a ceiling of 37,000 feet. But, oh, geez, you could, you could elevate this thing almost straight up. You could shoot use, down a, a modern day jetliner with that. Uh, yeah, use 10 different types of shells. This type of shell indicated the shell and fuse. Required a crew of 15 men. 
is your duty during gun wrecks. I actually keep the gun and fire in the maximum range. If I can fire, you must make every effort to keep the gun in operation regardless of casualties to the gun or to the crew. Well, there's no sign. Well, you'd hope so. Well, there's nothing that says you can't. And here's your big gyroscope up here. That's your fire control. This is your fire control. There's your trigger. That's letting you know how much elevation that you've got. That's hey, automatic. Uh, this that recoil, uh, big recoilless rifle. Yeah. Essentially. Oh, you see footprints and handprints up there. And there's your big uh, shell breach. And uh, that is what you would use to close the big son of a bitch. Lock it forward. And deflection indicator adjustment. So here's your. I said. So here's your other guy. Your. Essentially. That is exactly what that is. In fact, haha, <laughs> that's cool. Still working? Mm -mm. Let's see. Is there a is there a big glass? Is there a big glass up there? Yeah. Okay, I was gonna say there's no way that it's reflecting all the way up over there. Hmm. Well, that's getting tighter for some reason. Aha! It's moving something down over there. Where? Down over here. Where? You don't see it moving oh, up there? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's the fine tuning. Aha! Oh, am, I, am I changing the elevation on this crazy thing? Aha! And you got a big. Uh, that's exactly what that is. I'm wondering this. Well, it's attached to something because I've got. Yeah, this is moving right here. What is? This. I said, yeah, that's your. I said, that's your main adjustment. That's your fine adjustment. Well, it's turning some sort of drive shaft up here. I'm trying to figure out what exactly it's supposed to move all the way across over there, unless it's supposed to, unless this is what you twist it with. Imagine the noise of that son of a bitch going off. There's a chair right here for Main mast from destroyer USS oh, yeah. Foot. That uh -huh. Yeah, that's the the torpedo tubes came off of it. It's a, it's a main it's a radar known as the bed spring. <laughs> USS Foot was sold and broken up for scrap. This ship is built to fight. You had better know how. It's an Admiral Arleigh Burke, which we now have the Arleigh Burke class destroyer, which is our main, our main tin can now. Well, your big difference between your cruiser and your destroyer now is what it can carry. Well, no, it's it's not that. It's the extra equipment and men. Uh, cruisers also tend to carry a whole lot of like things like fuel and ammunition. It'd be kind of dumb to load a destroyer up with all that, because then now it's not as fast and now it's not as maneuverable, and you got to have different fire control systems on it in case something blows up.
So this is the so the fair water is the conning tower of the sub, so that when it's above the I like how they've got a, the bushes and all set up like the like water here. Yeah. In too much of a hurry to notice that yesterday. Right. Well, I said there, there's the bow. Set it right up. Should have a hole in the front. Oh, for what, your torpedo tubes? No. Headlights? Those would be lower down. Oh, no, you're right. <laughs> Thank you. 